Okay, well froze over. So I've got the heaters going in there. Had them going for a little while. Let's see. Nope. I'm gonna need to tape the rest of that, put up another hose or another thing on there. It's uh it's quite nice and I'm cold. I've got my well house right here with well house right now my pipes all right here I've got a little tiny right there on the ground block of ice so this thing right there saying that it's drip drip dripping got a little space heater in here that heater in here and I'm trying to organize where I keep all my tools I missed the show I went inside to have some lunch come out and now I've got water all over the place in here and I've still got no water in the house So there's got to be something here dang it I don't that's all wet right here and it looks like that's where it's had problems before coupler 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 I mean that just huh let's figure this out all right so the rest of you people that you know are like me <clears throat> new to wells Here's what I figured out. The uh, the box here, uh, there's a reset button right up underneath this thing. Right there, reset button. So, it's, uh, it's building up pressure. It's shooting it over here to the pressure tank. But the line right here, or whichever one of those lines, is still frozen. So, it's blowing out the pressure relief valve which is spraying all over my floor. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm thawing that. I've got my little space heater thing in here. And uh, it's the only thing I can come up with is this stuff is mostly thawed, but from here to there or from here to wherever that crap goes that stuff has still got blockaged in it so we're going to let these things do their job for a while longer I've got this little little one here and I've got another one right there just trying to heat this room up and I'm trying to clean in here I've got crap all over the place and trying to trying to hang my tools get things put up whatever I can I, I don't know. I need to build some shelves in here real bad. But at the same time, I don't want my well house to be my tool shed, which is exactly what it is right now. You ever have one of those times where things don't work out quite the way you wanted them? Here I am stuck between an outlet and a dryer up there that nothing is working right. The dryer we hooked up for a four prong because there was a four prong outlet down here, but the outlet only had three wires in it, it had no, no neutral. 
so nothing would work right. I don't know if I'm if I'm saying that right, but so I had to go down to the box store and get a three prong outlet here, a new three prong wire, and I've been stuck in this tiny hole now for a while. <laughs> Just stuck. I've almost got it out and put back together. But I've just got no room to fit and work in here. And, I mean, the door's right there. So this thing is, is nearly pushed up against it. <laughs> I'm stuck between a, a rock and a funny place. Anyways, what's on your honeydew list? The ground. I've got the plug all reinstalled on this. I'm standing way up on a ladder. I've got... Hi. Noodle came in and helped me. He's supposed to be picking up all that stuff down there. Now, the only thing I have to do is put this all back where it belongs. And then shove this thing back in place. You know, this should have only taken like 15 minutes. And I think I've been at it for like an hour and a half. It's... It, <laughs> Isn't that just the way things work out? So, but I'm, I'm going to be happy to have a dryer again. Uh, since we moved into this place, we've had a washer and a dryer that are like side by sides. But the spot that they go into, see my hand is touching one wall, my elbow is touching the other. So it has to be a stackable unit that goes in here. And uh, we haven't been able to do laundry. Well, we do our wash and then we hang it all over the house because the dryer can't be in here and I don't want to be swapping both units out constantly. So here's that this uh, here's to hoping this works. Here we go. Turn the power back on. I don't smell electrical fire. Here we go. <laughs> okay, we're good. It's now five o'clock at night. I went and got a cookie, another heater, and blow dryer. <sighs> and we're back in here working on this thing. <sighs> Snow doesn't melt. <sighs> the Snow doesn't melt. I've got that little heater going, got that heater going, and every time I trigger that thing on, it spurts, so there's got to be still some ice in the line, or my pressure leaf valve is bad, but it shouldn't be bad, it should open all the way up if it's bad, should be dripping, it should be something, so I've got a blow dryer, I'm going to blow dry underneath that thing. Maybe that, maybe that line some down somewhere down there is still frozen. But hey, my room's getting clean. My room's getting clean here. That's happy, I guess. That did it. I'm just. Killed the power in here. Oh. Okay. So, two little heaters and a big heater. It's no bueno por caca. <sighs> I had already unplugged that, but as soon as I plugged that one in, it wasn't even on. I, I lied. It was on. All right. So, extension cord maybe? Extension cord. All right, here we go. All 
All right. So after about, I don't know, 45 minutes of using that blow dryer, this stopped, spurt some water out everywhere, but that's not normal, is it? I feel like it's going to explode outward. Huh, and now the valve is leaking. What's funny is I have no pressure relief valve on here. So if I have to change out that, if I have to change out that valve, how do I drain the line so that I lose all my pressure? At least I've got water back up to the house now. Vaughn says everything's running great. I'm going to leave this, this one heater in here tonight. <laughs> okay. All right, folks. I've got my little space heater on. It's going to keep all the pipes, keep all this stuff up and going. I've got you know, about three feet between stuff there. So I feel good with that. Need to bring Mama her, her thing back. And uh, I've got that working. It's a uh, little after six. <laughs> Happy uh, Valentine's Day. I feel like I hopefully accomplished something. Oh, I need to go spend time with my wife.